the 127 mm 5 inch slash 54 caliber MK45 lightweight gun is a US Naval artillery gun mount consisting of a 127 mm 5 in L54 Mark 19 gun on the Mark 45 mount. It was designed and built by United Defense, a company later acquired by BAE Systems Land and Armaments, which continued manufacture. The latest 62 caliber long version consists of a longer barrel L62 Mark 36 gun fitted on the same Mark 45 mount. The gun is designed for use against surface warships, anti-aircraft, and shore bombardment to support amphibious operations. The gun mount features an automatic loader with a capacity of 20 rounds. These can be fired under full automatic control, taking a little over a minute to exhaust those rounds at maximum fire rate. For sustained use, the gun mount would be occupied by a six-person crew, gun captain, panel operator, and four ammunition loaders below deck to keep the gun continuously supplied with ammunition. Development started in the 1960s as a replacement for the 127mm 5-inch slash 54 caliber Mark 42 gun system that had debuted in 1953 with a new, lighter, and easier to maintain gun mounting. The United States Navy used the Mark 45 with either the MK-86 gun fire control system or the MK-34 gun weapon system. Since before World War II, 127 mm 5 inches has been the standard gun caliber for U.S. naval ships. Its rate of fire is lower than the British 4.5 in 114 mm gun, but it fires a heavier 127 mm 5 inch shell which carries a larger burst charge that increases its effectiveness against aircraft. On May 9, 2014, the U.S. Navy released a request for information, RFI, for a guided 127mm, 5-inch, round that could be fired from Mark 45 guns on Navy destroyers and cruisers. The thinking is that if the technology worked in the 155mm, 6-in, long-range land attack projectile, LRLAP, for the advanced gun system on Zumwalt class destroyers, it can be applied to a 127mm, 5-inch, mount. This RFI comes six years after the cancellation of the Raytheon Extended Range Guided Munition. The shell must have at least double the range of unguided shells for missions including Naval Surface Fire Support, NSFS, slash land attack, and increasing anti-surface warfare, ASUW, capabilities against fast attack craft, FAC, and fast inshore attack craft, FIAC. The main purpose is to destroy incoming small boats at a greater range with a proximity fuse airburst blast fragmentation warhead to spray shrapnel over swarms.